And then 0.10% probably doesn't give up. And then those are the people that become millionaires. Flip, all right? A book change your life. But here's what he did, ladies and gentlemen. Carlos spent $10 to buy the book and then my man read it, right? Those are the two big pieces that will stop a lot of people. What drew you to that book? What was that defining moment? You know, uh, m- most of my life, you know, my, my mother, she never owned the house. She never owned the house. We never owned the house. Like we were always renting, you know, we were renting at some point we were, we were on cash assistance by the government, you know, where they were helping us pay the rent for like a year or two. We were on food stamps at some point. Um, we were on WIC, uh, which is like, you know, some other type of assistance. And I just always wanted to be a real estate investor, man. I used to, you know, oh, I remember exactly how it happened. I was in the, I was in between the seventh and eighth grade and I needed a job. And uh, somebody I knew, somebody I knew said, hey, you need a job? Yeah, I need to buy clothes for the eighth grade, right? Shoes and uniforms. <laughs> like, okay, why don't you come with me? Why don't you pick up, why don't you pick up the trash on these job sites and, uh, and then we'll, we'll pay you, we'll pay you cash. So sure, man, you know, I was in the seventh grade and I'm, th- this guy happens to be a construction worker and he was renovating and rehabbing houses. And I'm, you know, I got a little wheelbarrow and I'm just picking up the trash and dumping the trash and picking up every man. I'm, I'm there at like four in the morning to like 2 PM. And I think early on, I just saw what these, these guys were doing with these houses, you know, like they were like taking these shells of a house and they were, you know, put the granite down and put cabinets and flooring and roofing and, you know, drywall and paint and making them look ex- amazing. And, and I'm like, man, like it would be beautiful to be able to do that one day. Right. Um, and sure thing, man, like, I think that stuck with me, like that subconscious programming stuck with me. So when I got older, when I became an adult, I was like, okay, there's a couple of things that I want to do with the rest of my life. Cause you got to make a decision, right? At some point you got to make a decision. Like, what is it that you want? And I said, you know what, here are my options. I either want to join the Navy. I want to become a police officer. I want to be a defensive attorney or I want to be a real estate investor. Well, I went with the one that had the most opportunity, like financial opportunity, right? I said, man, well, how am I going to get yep. into this if I don't re- I don't have money? I don't have knowledge, money, credit, nothing. A license, real estate license. So then I just picked, I, you know, I, I heard of this, this concept of what's called wholesaling, where you don't yep. have to have any of that and you can still make it happen, right? You're just the bird dog. You're just finding the deals. That's how I started, man. I read this book for 10 bucks and that's the reason why I actually was inspired so much by that book that changed my life that I, I actually give people the entire blueprint with this book. Absolutely. And people, people can actually download this book for free, man. I don't even, I don't even try to sell it. Like at first I sold it on Amazon for like $30. And that's why you see, I have this plaque here that says bestseller from Amazon. It's right there. Look right there. Yep. Right. Yep. And now I'm like, you know what? I'm going to give it away. So yeah. if, people, if, if people go to best B E S T like the best, bestreibook.com they can download it for free bestreibook.com again but like you said brother i probably reply to hundreds of messages every day and they're like hey man how do i get started hey how do i get started how do i get to do what you're doing right how do i get to have the things you have and i say i'm like hey thank you so much for reaching out for me to me read this book i wrote it myself i give you everything i give you everything i send the book but you know what, brother? I believe that one to three percent of those people might actually read the book. No way. Right? And then, and then, zero point two five to one percent probably actually takes action after they read the book. Wow. And then, zero point one zero percent probably doesn't give up. And then, those are the people that become millionaires. Crazy crazy. I love it. But that is so true. 
Rich people hide secrets where poor people won't look. Mm. That's books. books. That's books. It. That's <laughs> right. it, man. Yeah. That is it. Yeah. Just, just put it there. And I didn't read books for the longest time. And you're absolutely correct. It is something that if you want to succeed, you must read one of those really classic quotes. So I love that love you've it. created that. I love that you give it away and that you help people. I will absolutely download that. I'm going to be reading it myself. Thank you. Um, it's that's a very generous gift. Quick money question. So both of us are kind of at a very interesting level in our life financially. What is one thing that still kind of annoys you about money? Probably a small, like, uh, I'll give you an example. For me, all good, my man, it's all good. For me, it's parking. Parking? Yeah, I don't like to pay for parking. It still stresses me out a little bit. <laughs> for me, it's uh, waiting in lines. <laughs> I, I don't, I, my wife knows I, I will I will pay whatever I need to pay. I never wait in lines. I don't want to. And I know people out there, you know, they're like, oh, look at this douchebag. He doesn't want to wait in a line, right? Dude. What did you say at the beginning of the show? Time is money. For me, I, I don't got time to waste, man. Like, I'll pay you a hundred dollars if you let me go, if you let me cut your, <laughs> like, if you let me cut in line, like, I'll give you a hundred bucks, right? Like, my yeah. time is worth way more than that. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, waiting in lines is, is my pet peeve right now. Um, and I, I, I don't go anywhere if there's a huge if there's lines involved i won't go to the water park <laughs> I, I, I don't go like disneyland i better have the fast pass you know like yeah. I, I don't wait in lines i am on the exact same path as that man like the line waiting is a uh it's an arduous stressful environment it just yes sir I'm like let's go fast we need to optimize this this is so obvious this is so simple yeah exactly what's the number one objection that you get when doing wholesaling and how do you overcome it um, well, from who, from the seller or from, yep, from society the in general, from the, from seller? the seller, um, you're not offering me enough money. Right. But again, you know, I, I don't know if you know this, but I don't talk to sellers anymore. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I mean, I did for the first several years, but I have, I have sales teams. They, they take all the calls, they deal with the sellers, but, um, more than likely is, you know, you're not, you guys are not giving me enough money because, you know, we try to buy properties at a discounted, discounted rate because we're in the business, not for charity so much, but to solve it, solve problems and, and make a little bit of money. So uh, that's the number one objection. And the way that we overcome that is by, there's several things that we offer that a lot of people don't. When we buy your house, we, we, we pay you in cash. We're not sitting around waiting for a loan. We close as soon as possible. We, we close in three days. You know, if you want to sell your house really quick, we got you, right? And then we buy the property and as this condition, we don't ask you to fix anything, bring it up to market, you know, market par. Like we don't care about that. So we solve problems and we we, we, we offer you those incentives. Um, so that, that's how we overcome that all day. Now you mentioned a very interesting word, brother, society. What does, what problems does society have with you wholesaling? No, that it's just like you're you're people just are are skeptical about if this if this really mm. if this is really a thing like does it really yeah. work, right? Yeah. You know something you said earlier about people that are not successful, you know, it's like they don't believe anything. Mm. They don't, they're, they're, <laughs> they're skeptical. They they're skeptical. It's crazy, right? They don't believe that you can start flipping houses with no money, no credit, uh and uh and no knowledge right but they'll buy a lotto ticket every single day thinking they're going to hit the lotto you know you know their, their priorities or their belief system is just broken you know i'm sitting here I'm like i'm the i'm the living proof that you can start with nothing start with nothing and still make it so yeah what's other than reading a book what do you think would be the fastest way for someone in that situation to change their mindset getting around the right people getting around the right people. Um, if your circle doesn't inspire you, right? Doesn't inspire you, doesn't challenge you. You can't make money. You can't grow with them. You, you need some new friends. Mm. You, need, you need some new friends. You need, you need, you need some new, you need a new environment. Yeah. So the number one book that I recommend for mindset, it's called secrets of the millionaire mind by T R Becker secrets of the millionaire mind by T R Becker. And again, that book changed my life. That book changed my life. But 
the other thing that really changed my life was, man, I, I, I dropped all the toxicity and the bad friendships and, and all that, you know, I, I said, just boom, just cut all the noise out, you know? So get around the right people, get into the right rooms. Proximity is power, my friends. Yes, sir. Who's one of your biggest mentors right now? Um, you know, I have mentors for different areas of my life, right? Um, one, one, some of the people that I really look up to that I, I, I look up to Andy Frisella. Like I said, I was on this show he's in so October. Cool. Yeah, he's I, so I looked cool. up to that dude. I, I, I visited, uh, his operation and, uh, and I was, exp- I was, I was inspired, man. This guy's operation, uh, first form. I mean, it's massive. It's probably like 50,000 square feet or probably way more than that. Honestly, the guy has a full blown basketball court. He has a weight room. He has a, um, NFL type of uh, uh, locker room. He has a barber shop, you know, like it's, he has a huge warehouse. Like I was really inspired by Andy, man. I look up to Andy. Uh, Andy's one one guy I look up to. I look up to Ed, Ed Milet. Uh, I look up to Ed Milet too. So these are some of the guys that I I, I still look up to. Um, oh, you know what? My, the, 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 the one guy that I, he, I've never met, this is, I never met this guy, right? Like I, I've spoken on stages with Ed. I never spoke on stage with Andy um, yet, right? Uh, I've spoken on stages with, you know, Gary V. You know, I was in Miami with Gary V um, uh, for, uh, for another event uh, in June, just a few months ago. Um, one guy I look up to is uh, Elon Musk. Yeah. He's changing the world. He's impacting yep. lives, man. So I, I look, uh, there's a movie, there's a, a Netflix uh, documentary. Is it not prime video, prime video. Um, you gotta, ch- you gotta go check it out. If you're, if you're into entrepreneurship, um, it's called uh, Elon Musk, uh, the real life, the real life Iron Man. So you, you should see, man, some of the stuff he's doing. Yeah. Dude, the AI day that just came out, Carlos was ridiculous, man. Oh, oh the, my. The, the robotic thing that he Bro, just came Yes, with? but I mean, just going through the artificial intelligence and like the circumnavigating, the driving and the automatic processing and just going through all the data and having his tech people just discuss all the ins and outs of just computing all of that information was ridiculous, dude. It was so crazy. It yeah. was so nuts. And one of the things I give Elon Musk huge props for, I don't know if you've noticed this, but I have every single presentation he does, doesn't matter if it's for the Boring Network or for Neuralink, he's always asking for help. He always says, hey, I want designers, I want engineers, I want architects, I want robotic specialists, I need the best of the best, come work for us. Mm -hmm. He says that in every single thing he does. He's always after He's always recruiting. Always recruiting, man. I love it. ABR, always be recruiting. There you go, I love it, I love it. After it. Because why, Um, poor people know everything and rich people know nothing, you know? Mm. So that's that's the thing, poor people have it all figured out. They, They have all the answers. Right, yeah. rich people, uh, it, you know, we're, we're constantly growing, we're constantly learning, we're constantly evolving, we're constantly asking for help, we're constantly trying to get around the right people because they know more than we do, you know? So um, that's what a lot of unsuccessful people fail to do um, time and time again. Yeah, love that. Man, I appreciate your time so much, brother, especially on a Friday night. Go enjoy your family. It was an absolute honor and privilege to meet you. We will hang out together. I'm an investor on a private island and I'm gonna have you down there. It's in the BVI. one of my real estate specialists, best friends, business partners, her name is Brittany Turner. Um, Her and I work a lot of projects together at a very, very amazing location. And I cannot wait to have you be a part of it. Dude, 30,000 square feet. It's a baller location, 12 rooms. And I need to have you there at some point, man, because you're a game changer. You light up the world, you help individuals, and you pour in goodness out of every pore of your body. Thank Thank you. you. Thank you, brother. Thank you so much for having me, man. And uh, God bless you, bro. Likewise, my friend. You rock. Talk to you soon.